Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to play Trial of the Hordes. Let's go. So Trial of the Hordes landed back in game this morning and you can see as always there are some nice and easy event rewards here including mystery legendary items for a couple of those and sigils towards the event center rewards as well. So generally I always play the limited time events for the event center sigils so that I can earn things like Telluric Pearls, normal gems etc all of the nice materials and bits that you get from that. So we're going to do a couple of matches today and see what happens. Obviously the first match in Trial of the Hordes generally is a bot match unless it's super busy and there's lots of people queuing for it. But at least it gives you an idea of what to expect if you are new to this mode, if you haven't played it before or if you're new to Diablo Immortal as well. Now the build I'm using here is actually the same build that I used in Vanguard recently so I couldn't really be bothered to put together a specific build for Trial of the Hordes. I do sometimes miss having Echoing Shade in this mode because I did obviously salvage that gem a few months back to use for gem power and it was actually pretty good in Trial of the Hordes because it obviously gave you those clones and they would generally get attacked more than you but it is what it is, that gem is long gone and um, this was a victory for us as it was against a bot. So you can see I've also gained a legendary item as well as experience and some scrap material and gold which isn't too bad for a few seconds of gameplay against a bot. So we're going to match again and see how long it takes to actually get a match. I generally find it's not too bad on the first couple of days of Trial of the Horde. Generally towards the end of the event, it's much harder to actually gain a match and it takes a lot longer to match make as less people playing it. So in this one, we are against Radonis in the Chaos Clan. So this is a clan that isn't on my server, but as you can see, they are in an Immortal Clan. So it's going to be interesting and so far they've taken down a lot more monsters than me. I'm not sure why my loading time for my mobs maybe is a little bit slower. Um, maybe because I took the first mobs down, they were sent monsters quicker than I was. I'm not sure how that works. But yeah, let's see how this match goes. It's pretty balanced so far. It's nice to get more of an actual challenge and not just face bots in this mode. As I said, this build isn't necessarily the best one, but it seems to work okay. I've obviously also got a cursed property active there, which I wasn't aware of. Um, maybe because I swapped out one of my gear pieces on this build last night so I need to look again at my cursed properties and actually change those to be the ones that I want. I generally use Lashed in my builds for the cursed property as this works really nicely so I normally have four pieces of that equipped and I can't even remember what the other one is. The I can't remember what it's called but it's the one that gives you lightning. I normally use four pieces for that as well. Um, so yeah, definitely need to look in my, into my cursed properties after this match. So far, as you can see, it's still pretty balanced. We're pretty much on par with each other on kills and um, they have a little bit less life than I do. It looks like they may have just used their healing potion there or maybe a legendary gem has kicked in or something like that that's given them some life back. So I'm just trying to avoid the boss here because generally that's the one that I take the most damage from and generally that is the one that will always kill me in this mode. And with the orbs, I normally save those up towards the end of the map battle, but because I kind of just want to get the event rewards out of the way for this, I'm collecting them now, um, as that is normally one of the tasks to collect. I think it's five different types of orbs in these matches. So yeah, I'm taking those as quickly as I can. And also the energy orbs are helping me with the uptime on ice armor because this doesn't have 100% uptime on. I don't have any essences on it other than the one hailstone essence for ice armor which is the one that I always use in this mode because it means that you have that six hit immunity and generally it lasts long enough to um, keep you alive for the majority of the match or for the entirety of the match as well. So you can see we're down to just 15 seconds on the clock. I think they may win this on the kills. Um, they seem to be getting a few more kills than I do. At the moment, they're about 10 kills ahead of me. Um, I'm having to move around quite a lot to dodge all of these mobs. And you can see the match is over and unfortunately it was a loss there um, because I killed less enemies. But at least I didn't die, so that is one positive from this. So one of the event, um, whatever it's called, challenges is to win three matches and then six matches. Obviously we've won one match so far and lost a match as well. So complete three matches and you need to complete ten matches as well. Now there's also the Eve of Unmaking event that's just landed in game. So this gives you some nice rewards over the next few days and you gain rewards just from logging in here as well as some daily tasks that it gains you. So this one we've completed from Trial of the Horde. So defeat three elite monsters and you can see the next task is to log in for two days 
and that will actually give you those rare crests there. So pretty easy event and some nice rewards from that. We've also managed to gain the normal gems here as well from completing Trial of the Horse and gaining those event sigils. So I'm going to actually play one more game and see how it goes. Let's head into it. So with the last patch for Diablo Immortal, there was this mentioned in the feature updates. Matchmaking queues for Trial of the Hordes have been optimised to prioritise quicker match times. Now, from the feedback that I've seen on Discord from a few other players, a lot of people are saying that they're facing bot matches. However, they are saying that as you progress through the ranks of Trial of the Hordes this time, the monster difficulty does seem to be a little bit harder. So as you gain gold level for example you might face tougher mobs and find it's harder to defeat them so this change should be quite welcome for the people that enjoy this mode and enjoy this event each time it returns to game like the last match this one seems pretty balanced myself and this other player are pretty much on par with each other with regards to the kills so it's going to be interesting to see who actually wins this now hopefully if i can survive this match without using the health potion i should gain one of the event reward challenge rewards as one of them is to complete two matches without using a health potion or win two matches without using a health potion. So if we gain a victory from this one, that will be pretty cool. Um, it's just another thing ticked off the list. Now, as I said, there are quite a few challenge tasks for Trial of the Hordes. I think it refreshes each week. So I don't know whether this will refresh on Monday or a week after the event has been in game. But as I said, it's quite nice to get the rewards and get those event center rewards, especially for the Tuluric Pearls. If you're free to play and the normal gems and legendary gems, if you're free to play as well, it might help you with upgrading existing gems or it might drop a gem that you actually want to use in your build as well. So, I mean, I don't completely hate this mode. It's not the most exciting one, but it's not the worst one. Um, I try to do all the events when they return to game just to test out any changes that have been made to them or see if any changes have been made to them, as well as to gain the event center rewards, as I mentioned just now. Um, but yeah, so far so good with this match and we have about 40 seconds left on the clock and I don't know if it's going to get to the very end of this match or, oh okay, no they've just been slain. So that was another victory for me there. So that is it from me today. Let me know if you're going to be playing Trial of the Hordes, if you do it for the event center rewards or if you do it because you actually enjoy it. And for now, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.